massive winter storm. It's on the move. The bomb cyclone sweeping from Colorado across the plains, bringing blizzard conditions and winds over 100 miles per hour. We just saw it there. A powerful storm. It, it flipped over trucks. That's just how much force we're talking about. Wind force. Yeah, that shot was really incredible. The system completely shutting down Denver's airport. More than a thousand flights have been canceled this morning. ABC's Clayton Sandell starts us off right there in Denver with the latest. Good morning, Clayton. Hey, good morning to you, Cecilia. You can see one of the big problems here this morning right here is the entrance to Interstate I-25, and it is completely shut down between here in Denver all the way basically to Colorado Springs because of those blizzard-like conditions. These major interstates and airports, no match for this major winter wallop. It's a winter weather gut punch, paralyzing Colorado highways in whiteout conditions. Big rigs struggling for traction. Hundreds of cars stuck. There's probably 40 or 50 people that are stranded. The National Guard called in to help rescue stranded drivers. Conditions turning deadly for State Patrol Corporal Daniel Groves. Hit and killed by a car police say was going too fast. The driver losing control. Oh, they call this a bomb cyclone because the pressure drops so quickly. And the lower the pressure, the stronger the storm. Here at the airport, we're seeing gusts of 80 miles an hour. The weather canceling nearly 1,400 flights. Crews working around the clock to clear runways. And with kids out of school in Colorado, Douglas County sent its bus drivers to help rescue stranded drivers. These firefighters giving a push to a stuck police cruiser. In Nebraska, one side of the state getting hit with a crippling blizzard. Even the troopers trying to help drivers in trouble getting stuck themselves. On the other side of the state, the worst flooding in decades, taking out this bridge. The storm also brought tornadoes to New Mexico and high winds to Texas. Oh my God. Strong oh enough to topple God. this truck. Now the bulk of the storm has moved on from here and they hope to have these interstates open later today, but now they've got a new round of snow in the mountains, which means we could see a whole brand new round of avalanches. Amy. Oh my goodness. All right, Clayton, thanks so much for that. Let's go to Rob for more on where this monster storm is headed next. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, Amy. You know, normally we get these, these bombs happening on the coast. Very rare to get it inland like this. We saw a 36 millibar drop in a short period of time. Amarillo, look at that. Uh, 80, mil, 80 mile per hour winds there with the, that tractor trailer being topped over and look at this on Denver. These tractor trails being slid off the road from these high winds. Colorado Springs seeing a 96 mile per hour winds. Look at that the digital sign there being blown around as well. Just a dangerous, frightening storm with so many uh, motorists stranded on the roadways there and a massive satellite. This is a classic comma mature cyclone. Now it rapidly intensified, but luckily it will take its time or unfortunately it will take its time to weaken, which will happen today. We've got 80 million Americans now under the threat for a uh, wind alerts. Flood advisories as well. We got some serious flooding on the warm side of this and still blizzard warnings happening. 50 plus mile per hour winds in the back side of this, 40 plus getting into Chicago, Detroit, and then eventually across the Northeast tonight, we'll get some winds here in Buffalo and New York City as well. So